But then there's this other video that I saw that I was thinking, oh my God, this might be um, one of the dangers of the Apple Vision Pro in that this might eventually cause um, Apple Vision Pro, you know, a temperature disorder, which I've kind of named the, uh, obviously the, ep the flipping episode of this podcast with you, right? And the reason why I named this episode, the podcast, what I named it was because I saw this video on Twitter. Uh, that made me I'll show you a couple more things. Got the messages again. Got music set up here. Big screen TV set up on my wall. Gordon Ramsay showing me how to cook above the stove. Notes right here for some groceries. Can walk around freely. Here's what it looks like when it's on. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, okay. catch. Thank you. And as we walk around the house, everything stays pinned exactly where we left it. And that's it. Let me know if you have questions. And in case you are just listening to the show, this guy is basically walking around his apartment where he's working from home and he has all the different screens that he uses from like the notes app to um, uh, what you call it, to uh, mail, to his text messages, to a window to watch, you know, the sports or whatever it may be. He has them pinned in different locations. So in this particular scene, you can see him at his workstation, his actual physical desk, and he has a window here with Safari already loaded up. He has a text screen showing his i messages he has his itunes i think player or something here on one side and then on one of the sides he also has um movies playing well, no his tv basically where the apple tv would be and then i think on one of the screens on the side there he also has like movies happening as well and then when he walks into the kitchen he has another video screen pinned up next to the cupboards that shows a video of um gordon ramsay preparing some sort of dish that he wants to make um on the fridge he has a note that shows some of the things he maybe wants to buy for his groceries and shit. And then he walks around, he comes back into the room, he passes his wife, who's also working in the next room on her laptop, on her screen, sorry. <laughs> and then he walks back into his main room. And this is pure ADHD behavior. There's like at the at the current at the current count, there's like including his wife's screen, one, two, there's probably like more than 15 screens running in this household. So if you thought it was bad already, right, if you live with your partner now and you thought it was already bad that you're both living in different rooms and you both maybe even if you're living in the same room, you both have your head completely kind of glued to your screens of your phone, of your laptop or whatever, your tablet. If you thought that was bad, right, and if you thought you kind of already not paying attention to people, your attention spans already kind of horrible, you can't focus correctly, just imagine, or you can't focus for long times, just imagine how worse it's going to get when you get to a place where you can have this headset where you could basically have screens just in front of you, like literally hovering in the air against walls or cupboards and stuff of different things that you want to do. And this, to be honest, is a clear indication. And imagine if you start to have different tabs within each screen. So this is each, this is like a screen, right? Imagine there's a tab for each screen. So each screen has 10 tabs. Like I usually run, right? I usually have like a, a fucking, a window with like already 20 plus tabs every single time I open my computer, which might obviously um, explain why sometimes my streams or my pods have, can run a bit slow. But just imagine how bad people's ADHD will get when they have each screen pinned up against a wall with different tabs running at the same time or running with different types of information different types of stimuli from your e email no the notifications to your i messages to your you know to your notes app to your safari browser your whatever all running at the same time and the tv and your other audio entertainment it's just crazy and then again you've got another screen here showing some aquarium type of kind of background screen going on as well it's just too much it really, really is too much. That's, I think, is one side of things that I probably wouldn't do too much. I think I enjoy the one aspect of it where you just wear the headset and you're kind of moving around with your environment. And, it's, you know, obviously you've got the screens moving around with you. But the idea of having all these different screens pinned in different locations is crazy.